How's everybody's week been? Y'all had some sex talks this week? <laughs> Dr. P a visit, y'all? Yeah, I mean, it's no secret about us. You guys know that. I was about to say, yeah. you, uh... <laughs> I mean, the conversation was good, but it was just about Nicole has some, like, self-worth issues. I really need to do a lot of personal work because, you know, it just came to light that I have all this work to do, and there's really not much he can do in terms of helping because it is so internal, but I need him to, you know, if he sees me looking upset, instead of saying, like, when you're ready to talk about it, I need him to be like, talk to me. Because I feel like, I hate to say it, but he's almost too respectful. Like, he sees me getting upset, and it's like, I'm here for you when you're ready, but I'll never be ready if I'm given the option. I would say we doing, yeah. out of 10, seven, eight. Okay. Like we're doing good, okay. but it's kind of like, it's like little nits. Little things, yeah. It's yeah. like, the only thing that I asked for in the beginning was support. Yeah. Like, support me in my job, support me in school. But it's like, we getting further with intimacy and chemistry, and it's kind of like, you know, started kissing and everything, especially like before bed and everything. Since we're at a baseball stadium, what would you say, you were on first base? Second base, okay. trying to get the third, you know, yeah. Okay. First base, like, where are we at? Yeah, like, are we exploring? <laughs> Do we know what we're working with, at least? Um, we're working up to, we're working up to it. Because it sounds like you've been building up yeah, the intimacy, I think, and yeah. I, I really respect that you're waiting until you guys are fully ready, but it sounds like we're ready. We're just waiting for the right moment where we feel You want ready. him to, like, you I, want I, him I to take I definitely want control. Shaquille to, yeah, I definitely <laughs> want Shaquille to take the lead and to initiate everything and to, you know, get And you're not going to turn him down. Mood. You're not going to turn him down. Down. If he She's doesn't not cry, down. Down. She's not gonna turn him down. Y'all are so I'm funny. I'm, I'm glad y'all getting a lot of laughs out of this and a lot of ideas. Sha Shaq, can you hear me? Yeah. Shaq, <laughs> tell him to initiate. Tell him she's ready to risk it all. Oh my gosh, y'all are hilarious. Oh man, I mean with baseball analogies, I'd say we're not even in the dugout, man. We're not even in the stadium. You guys uh, waiting in line to get in? Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, yeah, it's it's um it's an it's an interesting place to be in because I'm just I'm a sexual dude and that's how I connect on another level with somebody yeah. you know, so I'm trying to work through like you know intimacy exercises you know and I'm trying to keep an open mind I'm not trying to have a predetermined outcome it's just right. like I'm gonna try it and see if it changes my outlook on things change yeah. my perspective. We have to start building some sort of intimacy just to figure out if right. we can sustain any type of healthy marriage. Like, at the end of the day, we're not quitters, and we're trying so hard, and I'm like, I just want it to be there. Right. Dr. P visited us, but I, I feel like she already knew we wasn't having sex, so we didn't even talk about sex. We oh, just, yeah? What'd you talk about We just talked about, about like, other ways to be intimate, uh, like, besides, like, sex. I've had situations in the past where, like, I've grown to like people past the physical, so I'm trying to find, like, other ways that, that I can be turned on, and I just haven't gotten there yet. Even when we've like had conversations like with the experts, he's like, yeah, like, I'm gonna be more intentional and I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna do that and I want this to work. But I feel like after it, it's acknowledged, there's no change. Have y'all had that conversation? Oh, no, because I don't have the conversations that need to be had because I'm just very, I don't know. I just brush things under the rug. And that's something I'm learning about myself. Mm -hmm. yeah and trying to grow from. And I do that sometimes, too. Just because I feel like I'm more worried about what the answer is going to be. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can cry. This is a safe space, so please know that. I think I'm just at a point where I'm at my breaking point. Yeah, yeah. and I understand that. Because I know how bad you want to be married, you know, and I know how bad you want things to work out and you want to be a wife. So I can understand how difficult this can be for you. And I'm sorry. My heart is breaking for Jasmine. I mean, she is a wonderful, beautiful person inside and out. And she went into this with the most open mind, wanting to be a wife, ready to be a wife. And she is an incredible wife. And it just breaks my heart that she's not getting what she needs in return. I'm about to cry again. 
emotionally, I just don't know what I have left to give mm -hmm. at yeah. this point.